Hey guys, it's Cam and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome and it would mean the world to me if you joined the Cam fam by hitting that little O subscribe button down below. So as you can see, my video quality looks very different today because I went to turn on my whole setup and of course one of my soft boxes decides to flicker and not stop flickering. So yeah, uh, today I'm filming with just my ring light. I don't know how I feel about the quality. I don't know, at least I have like another light to film with because otherwise I would just be like out of luck. But I'm gonna work on getting more lighting I guess at this point because I can't just film with one softbox, so I need to, I guess, buy another pair or something like that. So hopefully I get that before I film my next video. But anyway, for today's video, I wanted to do a look with the Hello Charmer eyeshadow palette that of course came in the BoxyCharm March box. So I've been playing around with this palette a lot, and it has a lot of really good neutral tones in it. The mattes are very, very blendable. And just even in size and kind of like pan quality, this reminds me of the Violet Voss Essentials palette that we got back in the fall. So the quality is very reminiscent of that palette. It's very blendable. The shimmers have a lot of pop. It looks to me like it's manufactured very, very similarly. So it is a really good quality palette. And I've been doing some neutral looks with it recently, but I love the colors in this palette. Like they're just absolutely stunning. I actually still have not dug into this glitter swipe up yet, so I'm really excited to do that. But there are just so many gorgeous brights in this palette, so I really wanted to do a look that uses all of them, and sometimes it's not the best idea. But I really hope that you guys like this look and don't think it's too crazy. And if you want to see how I got this look with the Hello Charmer palette, then just keep watching. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in because we're just going to focus on this eye look today. And I'm going to start off mixing the colors Premium and Spoiler for my transition shade. And I'm just going to start buffing that into my crease and I'm using my BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush. Okay, now once I've got that laid down, I'm going into the shade Cup of Joe, and this is going to be my second transition shade, so I'm going to start deepening up the crease with this color, and I'm using the BH Studio Pro number no. 6 brush for this. So now that I have my transition shades down, I'm going to start playing around with the colors that are going to go on the lid. So I'm picking up the shade Lux with my Sigma E56. I'm going to start laying it down in the inner one third of my eyelid. Now I am going to use this brush to kind of like cut this inner portion of the crease and create a very sharp line here because I don't have a very defined eyelid. Next, I'm going into the color Charmer, and I'm picking this up on my Sigma E55 and basically pressing it onto the center of the lid. And I'm going to bring it up to the crease, kind of as high as I put that first shade. And I'm blending it a little bit into that first shade as well. And I did get a little bit of fallout from that shade, so I'm just going to sweep it off. 
Then I'm just going back into Lux and further blending those two shades. And so I'm gonna get a little crazy here for the outer corner and I'm gonna pick up the shade full size on my Morphe M506 and I really just wanted to incorporate the shade because I thought it was so beautiful and I kind of imagined this gradient in my head. So even though it's like a shimmer shade, I'm gonna put it in the outer corner and hope it works. And so I'm gonna start applying that to the outer corner. It's so sparkly and like it creates so much fallout that I'm kind of almost like pressing it in rather than trying to like blend it out. And so I'm kind of trying to create this like V shape on the outer corner with it. And then I'm just taking a little bit of a mix of spoiler and cup of gel just to kind of blend out this transition area again. And then with cup of gel and that same brush, I'm just gonna sweep that along my lower lash line. All right, so now I'm just gonna repeat all of this on the other eye and pop some lashes on. And the lashes I'm gonna use today are these Ardell 776 lashes. So I think I'm also gonna add some definition to my lower lash line. So I'm gonna take this Bodyography pencil in the color Midnight Blue and I'm just gonna pop this along my waterline. And I feel like this color really ties the look together. All right guys, so here's the finished look. Alright, so that's it my loves. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, then definitely smash that like button for me. And hopefully by the time I'm filming my next video, I have more lighting. So yeah, wish me luck with that. <laughs> and as always, I'm going to leave you guys with two more videos by me that you can check out. And then don't forget to click on my face to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my loves and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.